remember a while ago, Vin Diesel was doing press for Fast X, and, and we've all known for a while that Fast X, well, there was going to be two final movies, right? Whether it was going to be called Fast X and Fast X Part 2, or whether it's going to be called Fast X and Fast, Fast 11, whatever it was going to be called, there were two movies coming. So there's Fast X and then one more. And then some of you guys will remember that Vin Diesel on a red carpet dropped a bomb. This basically says, nah, Fast X is going to have three movies. <laughs> we're going to have three of them, to which all of us were like, wait, what? Excuse me? <laughs> now, of course, that's probably, now is probably unlikely with the fact that Fast X also took another dip at the box office. Now, I mean, hey, it still, it still made coins, but it didn't make, it's going on the wrong trajectory. It's going <laughs> downwards. But apparently, maybe Vin was just flapping his lips. And by the way, I am no anti-Vin Diesel guy. I'm a big Vin Diesel fan. I love Vin Diesel. But... According so to the director of Fast X, Louis Leterrier, uh, who, by the way, was my director on my Incredible Hulk movie. Mm -hmm. Just want to mm -hmm. throw that out there. That uh, co-starred Ed Norton Jr. with me. Uh, but somebody finally asked Louis Leterrier, the director, who's now working on Fast 11 or Fast X Part 2, whatever you're going to call it, about, hey, what, what about this third movie? Uh, this is what Louis said. This comes to us from Total Film. He said this. The one thing about Vin is like when he's on a press line, he will say anything to get out of that press line. Leterrier <laughs> laughingly tells us. And I'm kind of like him and go, yeah, sure. We will go to the moon in the next one. Bye. And then you never forget. The director continues, obviously the next one is coming. And then, yeah, one movie at a time. I think the one thing that the that Hollywood keeps reminding us is that it's one step at a time. Put one foot uh, forward at a time. Let's count our blessings. We're very lucky that this movie was well-received. I'm not sure how well-received it was, but anyway. And well-loved people went to see it in the movie theater, and now they're going to go see it at home one at a time. Can I, can, I just, can I just say that that's exactly how they write these movies, too? Yeah, sure, and the next one will go to the moon or something. <laughs> yeah, that's, per, that's probably how it's actually written in the script. Pretty accurate. So basically, <laughs> look, let me translate for you what Leterrier just said. <laughs> what? Yeah, Vin says things sometimes. <laughs> Vin says things sometimes. Basically, look, he said in a very diplomatic way, Vin Diesel is his actor, but he's also his boss. Vin Diesel, because Vin Diesel's the producer of these films. So he wants to not lie to the audience and to the fans, but at the same time, he doesn't want to appear like he's refuting Vin Diesel. But let me translate. He said, no, we don't have plans to do a third film. Now, look, guys, one movie at a time. Vin will say anything on a red carpet, all right? Sometimes he just, like, he gets caught up in the... And listen, we know this about Vin Diesel. He's an emotional guy. He's an enthusiastic guy, mm -hmm. right? And maybe sometimes when he's on a red carpet and he's excited and the juices are flowing or maybe he just wants to get out of the red carpet, maybe he just feels like shaking things up a little bit, like saying we're going to do a third Fast X movie or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, yeah, I, I am not believing that we are going to get a third. I, I think the next Fast movie is the last one of the core franchise. They may continue to do spinoffs and things like that, but I think that's probably that. Guys, we want to thank a sponsor of today's video, HelloFresh. With HelloFresh, you get farm fresh, pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your door. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. And that's why it's America's number one meal kit. Fall is right around the corner and HelloFresh is here to help you plan for the busy season ahead with tasty dishes delivered to your door. Simply choose your recipes and pick your delivery date, then lay back and enjoy the last days of summer knowing that dinner is covered. Feel like you would love a wholesome homemade meal, but there's just not enough time? Well, with HelloFresh, all you need is 15 minutes and you'll be enjoying a tasty, satisfying meal made in your own kitchen. Just look for their quick and easy dinner options, plus quick breakfasts and lunches too. My wife Ann and I are both working professionals and dinner time is always stressful and time consuming. And that's one of the main reasons we absolutely love HelloFresh and we always end up with a great dinner. So go to hellofresh.com slash 50 Campia and use the code 50 Campia for 50% off plus free shipping. Again, that's HelloFresh.com slash 50 Campia and use the code 50 Campia. HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. Chris, uh, you're hearing what Leterrier is saying. I mean, to me, it's pretty clear the director saying, no, we don't have plans for a third film, right? I, but I don't know. Could you interpret it another way? Do you think 
maybe there are plans for a third movie. What do you think about this? In Vin Diesel's D&D campaigns? <laughs> he's role-playing that he's getting a third movie? I, no, no. Why in Pooh Perfect Heaven would you give this a third? They're debating giving it the second. This didn't make <laughs> enough money. This used to be the golden goose for Universal, but people are not tuning into this. And I will say the international box office, obviously, people seem to enjoy these movies a Very good international. Yes. Yeah, it did very good internationally. Domestically, not so much. So... I mean, you look at it was what uh, almost seventy two, uh, seven hundred twenty million that it brought in, but it had a bananas budget. Like yeah, it well, three hundred and fifty million dollar budget. Yeah, uh, its worldwide total right now sitting at seven hundred four million, which okay. I don't think was enough to break even. No, but. it's it's didn't make enough money. So why why would you go? We're gonna make three of these and just keep operating at a loss. That makes no sense. <laughs> like that that's some that's some silly math right there. <laughs> It's not my money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but but to your point, uh, I, I see if you can get this on screen, Jonathan. To your point, like, and, and listen, I'm, I'm a big fan of the Fast movies, but nine and ten were both awful. Ten was better than nine, but ten was was pretty awful. But look at that international number. I mean, the people in the U.S. have pretty much given up on this franchise. I I think that's pretty clear. But the global audience is still eating it up. Look at that, over half a billion dollars globally. I mean, the international box office is the reason that this movie is not a complete and utter failure. Mm. It, it might end up losing a little bit of money, but it's going to be a little bit of money. Which is like, you spent, you made $704 million on a movie, and you might not be profitable yeah. on a movie. Yeah. Because you're talking about a $350 million budget, which I still can't understand how they spent that much money on a no. Fast and Furious movie. And they'd spent a minimum $150 million marketing, marketing campaign. I mean, it's 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 pretty damn serious. But again, that international support uh, is what kept this thing from being what you would call a flop. I mean, even if it ends up losing a little bit of money, it's not a flop, right? And so, yeah, but you don't plan on extending your series when you're not even breaking even. And and Lou Leterrier basically, yeah. Because by the way, I just want to point this out too. You notice Vin Diesel has never made any comments following up those initial comments about there being a third movie, right? He's never come out another time to say, yup, we're doing Fast X Part 3. He's never said that again. He like, he said it the one time <laughs> and now, yeah, Vin says stuff. So anyway, <laughs> question is for you guys. What do you think? Do you think that there's going to be a third Fast X movie? Or do you think the next one really is it? Uh, do you interpret Leterrier saying exactly the way I'm interpreting that? Look, we're doing one movie at a time. There's not, there's no third film being planned. However you guys interpret it, jump down to the comments section below and let us know your thought. Hey guys, thanks a lot for checking out our video. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. And also we do a daily podcast called the John Campia Show podcast available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice.